Uh, the first step in installing your magnetic uh, uncouplers is to uh, locate uh, the place that you're going to do it. Uh, now uh, my uh, cars that you see here are on a siding where I'm going to be dropping cars uh, at uh, different buildings along. So uh, I've selected this area right here where I want to uncouple, but before I put my magnets there, I want to make sure that my cars are straight. You see how they run into each other? Because if I allowed it to get on a curve, like up here, when they, if they uncouple, uh, you won't be able to get them apart uh, because the uh, couplers are going to be swinging out this way. You need the couplers to be in line, okay? And as you can see here, my cars are in line, so I can uh, locate my uh, uncouplers, uncoupling magnets there. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, use my knife, a sharp knife, to cut out a piece of the uh, cork road bed I'm using. Now I might uh, point out that uh, uh, on my uh, uh, plywood sub base uh, I do not glue my uh, uh, road bed uh, to the plywood. Uh, I don't know if you can see it here but uh, I have a, a brad stapled in here and that's how I hold it down. Also the track, the only thing holding the track down uh, are the track nails. Uh, so once I cut that I could get in with a hook like this and dig it out. See, well that came out nice and easy. Now the other one you want to cut out on the other side, but uh, you're going to uh, leave a little piece of road bed in between. Now I might say that I'm working on uh, end scale and my road bed is made of cork and it's uh, eighth, one eighth of an inch. If you're working in HO, your road bed's going to be a little thicker. Okay, let's get that out. Get it out from under my uh, asphalt road. Okay, the next thing we do is get our magnets. Now, those of you who saw my uh, earlier uh, clinic on uh, magnetic and couplers, I used a smaller magnet. Uh, this time I used a larger one. You can see it here, This these uh, Magcraft magnets, it says uh, Neodymium Iron Boron Rare Earth Magnets. There are 40 of them in this uh, particular uh, uh, container uh, for uh, 1449 at uh, Hobby Town, USA. Uh, I want to give you the number on this if you want to find the exact same one. It is uh, Nancy Sierra Nancy 0732. And uh, they are three eighths of an inch across by one sixteenth of an inch thick. Okay, since my uh, road bed is an eighth of an inch uh, thick, I'm going to be stacking them, two on either side. Uh, if uh, your road bed is thicker, like you in, in HO, I would not advise using three magnets. It might be too powerful and might give you problems. So uh, to uh, make up that difference, you can use a piece of uh, styrene, the proper thickness, and uh, raise it up so that your magnets uh, are tied up under your rail. Now I have uh, four magnets here, and I'm going to pull them apart in the center. Now be careful, these things are very powerful, and they can pinch you, and it will hurt. Now one of the things I want to show you is you saw they were stuck together there. Well, now when I try to push them together, they try to jump on top of each other, okay? That's not what I want. What I want to have these oriented properly, as you can see, I just turned over one. I want them to join each other. I don't want them to flip on top of each other. This gives me the poles that I want. I'm not sure whether that's the same or opposite, but believe me, if your magnets stick together like this, uh, they will work. So now I'll pull them off. Alright, put one in over here. Now remember, I only cut out a, part, a portion of the uh, road bed. I left a little in between and that will keep them from snapping together. And I'll put this one down and they will pull towards each other like that. Okay, with just a little bitty area in between that has the cork road bed. Now if you accidentally 
uh, cut that out while you're removing the road bed for the magnet. Don't worry about it. Just take a piece like this and stick it back in there. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm orienting the magnets. They're not quite. Uh, the rail comes just to the inside of the middle uh, of the disc, giving me a separation in between. That's so that the uh, a couplers can pull apart like that. All right. So once you have that in there, uh, we can uh, bring the cars across to test it. So as you can see, when you run across it like that, they do not come apart. But when you stop at the magnets and then pull back, they come apart. You can then shunt your car to the building it needs to go to, pull away, and you can come back. Watch, do you see that uh, uh, coupler jump over there? Okay, then you can come back and pick them up. Okay, you always have to shunt it away from the magnets or you won't be able to pick up when you return. Okay, and when you don't stop, they don't come apart. This is uh, very important. All right, so now I'm ready to ballast this area. Uh, ballasting does not interfere with the uh, uh, magnetic field at all. It will work just the same, and your ballast should uh, cover the magnets, and no one will even know they're there. Uh, that's why you're going to need to mark this spot later after you've got all the ground cover in. You're going to need to mark this spot with a, uh, uh, a yard marker of some kind. They're very inexpensive. Osborne Models has some. Uh, they're very inexpensive and uh, easy to put together. Then you just stick them in there and uh, stop your couplers at that yard marker. Uh, at that yard marker, and uh, they will come apart just as easy as that. If you're having trouble uncoupling and it doesn't uh, work as easily for you as it has for me, you can consider placing another set of. Uh, magnets in to have four. Now this will change your uncoupling spot, but uh, if you have the uh, four sets of magnets in there, uh, then you won't have any trouble no matter which kind of coupler you use. Now I'm using uh, uh, microchains, microtrain couplers on mine. All of my couplers are microtrain. I find they work best. Uh, you see, uh, uh, I want you to notice that off the coupler there, uh, the little uh, metal piece that's attracted by the magnet moves off uh, to the right. If I turn around to the other side, it also moves off to the right. Okay, if your uh, uh, metal uh, piece does not move off to the right, it's not going to work. Uh, this uh, piece of metal is not round. It may look round to you, but it's not round. It's uh, oblate and it can only go in the hole one way. So if it's somehow gotten bent and is straightforward, uh, you're going to need to replace the coupler or replace the truck that has the coupler on it. I always uh, replace the entire truck. Um, Mygo Trains has switched from this uh, brass colored uh, metal piece. I'll show you here, the black, it's, they switched from the black colored to this, it's the same metal, but it's uh, now been colored black. And uh, uh, that does not affect the uh, operation. Uh, when you're putting in the second group of metals, it's important, uh, second group of magnets, it's important uh, that you uh, get all of the poles correct. Remember, this one and this one should be uh, pulling towards each other from the side. The same here, they should be pulling towards each other here. They should be opposed here. They should be pushing apart here. Uh, so if you've got four sets uh, of uh, magnets, uh, under there, uh, you can be sure that whether your couplers uh, be Microtrain or uh, Atlas or uh, uh, Kato or uh, Bachman or any other sets of couplers that are out there, uh, they will work with the four. Uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, how you install magnets for your magnetic uncoupler, uncoupling. And uh, I hope you've uh, learned something and uh, uh, I'll see you next time.